She came here to Cincinnati to save her daughter's life, but even as her daughter is getting cancer treatment, she found herself homeless and called Nine on Your Side for help. And tonight, you know what? We are happy to tell you one of the Tri State's many generous people have stepped up now to help this woman and her daughter out in a, in a big way. Nine on Your Side's Julie O'Neill brings us the story. Well, I'm here outside a studio apartment, but it might as well be a mansion for this woman because it can fit her frightened little girl and the two dogs who comfort her. This is Sabrina. Sometimes we call her Savvy. She, she's super goofy and she loves to play with her toys. This one's Angie, and we got him when he was a puppy, too. You see the love Daphne Nieves feels for her dogs. As we told you Friday when she was at Children's, it's why her mother had to bring them along from Cleveland for a better chance at saving her daughter's life. No matter what, even if I had to walk here, I would have brought my child here. But the apartment she had set up suddenly wouldn't allow the only friends Daphne has right now, stranding them in a hotel they couldn't afford for long. Come on, Sammy. I'm kind of sad that I don't get to see my friends and school and stuff, but at the same time, I kind of got to do what I got to do, really. She's got to have a bone marrow transplant in a couple of weeks on her 10th birthday. Now she'll get to stay and have yeah, it. Just when I thought we hit rock bottom, uh, finally God sent us a guardian angel. A guy named Matt offered his apartment to us. Not just a free apartment, but Matt, who didn't want to go on camera, is also paying their utilities. And he even offered to help us find somebody to walk the dogs when I can't when I'm at the hospital. Come here, buddy. They can all move in this week and focus on preparing for the surgery. I'm kind of afraid that if they do it, it might not work, but I'm not trying to think about that too much because I'm trying to stay as positive as I can. I can't thank him enough. What a wonderful man. This apartment is a big start, but Ms. Nieves does have one other ask. As this scary surgery approaches on February 23rd, she's asking for your prayers. In Pleasant Ridge, Julie O'Neill, 9 on your side.